I can't believe that this is my 25th episode. This is a very special episode for me because it has been a journey to get to this point. This podcast went live on April 1st and I picked that deadline for myself in December of 2019. Believe me, I was nervous and afraid and all I had was my iPhone and my laptop, but I did it anyway. I've had a lot of people ask me if starting a podcast is really worth it and what it's been like. So I wanted to share a few of the lessons that I've learned from launching this podcast because it has totally been worth it. But before I dive in, I want to personally thank you for listening, subscribing, and reviewing the show. And if you haven't done that yet, it's not too late. But without your support, including taking me along with you while you exercise, drive, or do whatever it is you do while listening to my podcast, this will not be successful. Your feedback has confirmed that this was direction I needed to go in. So that's enough small talk. Let's dive into episode number 25. Welcome back to the More Than Capable Mompreneur podcast. I'm Shannon Baker, a coffee-loving mompreneur that started as a virtual assistant and turned into a total systems geek. And I want to help you shift your mindset and embrace your worthiness while creating systems in your business so you can be more productive and build success on your own terms without the mom guilt. Are you loving that? Well, I hope you're ready for real conversations that will help you beat the perfectionist inside rediscover your strengths and up-level your self-love in the mom cracks of time so you can stop letting fear hold you back because you are enough and you do enough. We are more than capable mompreneurs. So grab your cup of coffee, some sparkling water, or pour a glass of your favorite wine and let's dive in. 2020 has been an amazing and adventurous year for me. And that's not just because of the coronavirus pandemic. Starting a podcast is something that had been on my heart for over two years, and I had no idea where to start until I reconnected with an amazing woman, Stephanie Gass, on Instagram. So I started listening to her podcast, and I looked into her course, Podcast Pro University. PPU was simple and very easy to follow. So easy, as a matter of fact, that I launched my podcast on April 1st before I even finished the course. And it hasn't taken long for me to see how a podcast really is benefiting my business. When I recorded this podcast episode, I had 720 downloads. Over the past four months, I've made the top 202 podcast categories. The traffic to my website has doubled. My Facebook group and my email list grow every single week. And I'm starting to get requests not only to be on other people's podcasts, but also to do trainings inside their Facebook groups. So since I'm in total control over this podcast, that's why I decided to celebrate this milestone by sharing the five lessons that I've learned by hosting the More Than Capable Mompreneur podcast. So lesson one that I've learned, done is better than perfect. Let me tell you, this has been the biggest and hardest lesson for me. Now I'm a total perfectionist in recovery. So when I started working on things for this podcast, I wanted to make sure it had the perfect intro, the perfect music. So I made my own music in GarageBand. I wanted the perfect format and wanted to have the perfect show notes. Notice this ain't perfect a lot, right? Reality check. None of that even exists. So I had to let go of striving for perfection. I've learned it's more important to focus on providing content that is solid and easy to implement. And that's my goal with every single episode. Lesson number two that I've learned. Fear holds you back action builds confidence. Now, I'm not afraid of public speaking or even talking to strangers, but recording myself terrifies me. And I really don't like the sound of my voice when it's recorded, but I'm 25 episodes in and I'm still going strong. I'm not giving up. Now, one of my biggest fears was that no one was going to listen to my podcast. I was really afraid that what I had to say really wouldn't be seen of information that had value. But I average 18 downloads consistently every single week. And again, I launched on April 1st, right at the beginning of this pandemic with stay at home orders. So I am amazed at that fact. Now that may not seem like a big number to some. And honestly, that doesn't bother me because it's a big number to me because that means that 18 listeners deem what I have to say is valuable and they want to hear from me every Wednesday, which is when my new episodes drop. Not to mention I've made a number of new connections on Instagram 
I have new members in my Facebook group. They let me know that they listened to the podcast first and then they decided to connect with me. That has been totally mind blowing for me to know that women are listening to me. They're learning from me. They like what I have to say. So podcasting is working. So taking action despite fear of failure has totally made me more confident. Now I've also dreaded going live, but I find that now I actually want to go live more. It's specifically on the days that I feel like looking presentable from the waist up anyway. And I actually am starting to enjoy it. And to my surprise, I'm actually getting used to the sound of my voice recorded and I kind of like it a little bit. Now, lesson number three, motivation is not constant. Now, if you listen to my podcast regularly, it's no surprise to you to know that I time block my schedule. So I block out time to work on my podcast, which is usually on Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday. But there are some days when I just don't feel like being bothered. Life moves at a nonstop pace. And for some reason, it seems to move even faster because I'm working from home every day now. So some days when I should be working on the podcast, I really just want to watch TV without my phone or my laptop, or I just want to sit on my deck, listen to music or do something creative. And the perfectionist inside of me is screaming, girl, you got a podcast you need to work on. Now, sometimes I ignore and I enjoy the downtime. That's usually the week that I'm editing and uploading Wednesday's release on Tuesday evening. Then there are other times that I have to have a black coffee conversation with myself and just get it done. That way I can rest without that nagging little voice inside of my head. But either way, I've learned I have to give myself some grace. And hey, honestly, episodes are going up every single week because failure is not an option and I'm delivering good content, not garbage because I'm waiting to the last minute. I still pour my heart and soul into every episode. Now, lesson number four, this was a big one. Do what works for you. Now, this really wasn't a lesson for me, more of a reality that I had to accept. You know, you hear all the things that you shouldn't do when you have a podcast and a million other things that you need to do to be successful. But I'm usually the one that's going against the grain. Sometimes it works for me. Sometimes it doesn't. But the truth of it is I'm defining my own success. Now, suggestions are always welcome, but I don't have to take them. They're suggestions. So I know some people can just hit record and roll with it. But for me, I was ashamed because I script out my content. But here's the thing. You can't tell that I do that because I'm not reading like I'm reading from a script. If the content isn't written out for me, I get stuck in my own head and that perfectionist in me goes absolutely crazy. And even with using the script, I find that I can still be free. So if something comes to my mind, it just enhances what I had planned to share. Now, it has taken me four months to get comfortable and to find my rhythm, but now I'm in a good place and I'm able to record two episodes a week sometimes. Now, my eventual goal, of course, is to be able to batch record, but I'm not quite there yet. (laughs) And guess what? I'm okay with that. And lesson number five, a community is absolutely vital. Behind every successful woman is a tribe of women who choose collaboration over competition. And that's exactly how I view the ladies inside of the More Than Capable Mompreneur Facebook community. And yes, I say community, not group. We are a small but mighty group of busy fempreneurs. They give me great feedback. They help me generate new topics for podcast episodes. They've encouraged me to go live, which is why I like it a little bit more now. We troubleshoot things with each other. We support each other. We encourage each other. It's a very creative and supportive community. And let's face it, we need this because we don't necessarily have a husband that has an entrepreneurial mind. At least I know mine doesn't. So I can't bounce ideas off of him. So I brainstorm with the ladies in that group. I bounce ideas off of them, which then helps me get clarity. With their support, I feel empowered and excited as I grow my business. I become a better podcaster. It's actually become a simple form of self-care for me. It's a safe space where we can come to vent. I pour into them. I share my latest episodes. I give them pointers that I don't share in other places. There's just so much that I love about this community and the opportunity that I've created for myself with that community. Now, if you would like to join, there, of course, is a link in the show notes. I would absolutely love to have you in our community. So guess what? I'm going to wrap all of this up. And just want to say that starting a podcast has been a daunting task, but 
but it was totally worth it. I enjoy showing up every week to serve the mompreneurs and the women that tune into my show. I love helping them embrace their worthiness, beat that perfectionist inside, and up-level their self-love and create systems so they can be more productive and build success on their own terms without the mom guilt. Because let's face it, mom guilt can really be a killjoy. So thanks again for joining me for this milestone episode in my journey as a podcaster. And again, if you would like to join us inside of the More Than Capable Mompreneur Facebook community, there's a link in the show notes. Now, if you have any questions for me, or even if you simply enjoy the lessons that I share in this episode, please feel free to DM me on Instagram at the More Than Capable Mompreneur. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, Keep calm and streamline.